Hi friends, welcome to this full body yin yoga class for tension, release, and relaxation. In traditional yin yoga classes, poses are held from two to seven minutes long. And in this class, we're gonna hold poses for two minutes. So it's very approachable for all levels and all intensities. The structure of this class is that the first half of class will be the upper body. So we'll get into the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the spine. And in the back half of class, we'll get into the lower body. So we're really gonna hit on all the different areas. And of course, all the body is connected, so you'll feel stretches throughout the body for the entire class. We will also be including yang movements or dynamic movements throughout class in between yin postures to give ourselves some room to move. I do recommend having some props for this class. I have a block and a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, grab a pillow cushion from your couch or something cozy that you can use in some of these yin postures because it allows you to find a little bit more comfort to relax your nervous system so that you can go in a little bit deeper. And hi, I'm Kate. I'm so glad you're here practicing this class with me. Yin is one of my personal favorite styles of yoga, so it's going to be a magical one today. And if you have practiced with me before, then welcome back. So awesome to see my reoccurring students in my comments and on my lives. I see you, I appreciate you, thank you so much. Now let's take a big old breath. Fill all the way up. And gentle exhale. Let's get into it. Let's hop into our first yin posture where I'll talk through some important anatomy as it relates to yin and also how to approach yin classes. So let's come into a child's pose with wide knees, big toes come to kiss. And you have two variations here. You can roll your chest forward, arms overhead, and take an extended child's pose. Or if this is a lot on your shoulders, or if you just want to be super chill today, then bring your knees together, bring your arms behind you, forehead towards the mat. Yogi's choice. One of the really special things about yin yoga class is how it affects the fascia. The fascia is the scaffolding in your body. It's a connective tissue that organizes your muscle groups and your organs and it keeps everything in place and, and gives it a little shrink wrap to keep it organized. It goes through the entirety of your body from your feet to your fingertips to your head and although different fascial groups have different names, it's all one connected piece of fascia. Everything is connected. Healthy fascia, this connective tissue, this spider webby type material, is thin and allows muscles to glide over each other. And it gets thicker and starts to weave into itself and become less glidey when we don't move as much. So the benefit of yin is that we're holding these postures and it allows the fascia not to stretch necessarily, but rather to reorganize itself for an increased stretch tolerance which is just the ability, the tolerance of the muscles and the ligaments and your body to stretch with ease. One of the most important parts of stretching and flexibility is not necessarily the muscles, although that is an important part, but it's also the nervous system. Your nervous system plays a huge part in your flexibility. If you're stressed or experiencing anxiety, your body is in a fight or flight mode and it's not going to open up for you. It's going to be ready to go, ready to move. 
which is why when you go under anesthesia at the doctor, almost immediately you gain flexibility, you gain range of motion. This is because your nervous system is put at ease. It's not turned on. So your body can release into deeper ranges of movement. One of the beautiful things that yin does is it allows you the space to calm your nervous system so that your body can open up your fascia can realign itself and you can find more space in your body. So here's how to approach each yin pose. There are three steps. The first step is to get all your wiggles out, shift around, find a place where you can settle in. And once you find a position where you can be comfortable for a few minutes, then you click your attention one click deeper onto your breath. Single focus. Focused on the inhales and the exhales. Your rib cage expanding, your back expanding, the colder air entering your nostrils, the warmer air leaving it. And after a while of focusing on your breath, The awareness drops away and you don't have to try to focus on the breath. You're just breathing easy in your pose, meditating. And thoughts will come. And you say, ah, a thought. Then you focus your attention on your breath again. Click your knees into hips distance apart, if they're not already, and inhale up to your tabletop. Exhale, send your hips back to child's pose. Inhale, round up to tabletop. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. On your exhale this time, look up and send your hips back. On your inhale, round and come to tabletop. Exhale, send it back. And inhale, tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your knees over your hips. We'll take a few cat cows before our next yin pose. So inhale, look up, ribs drip towards the mat, hip bones go up and wide. Exhale, chin to chest, round through each vertebrae, navel in towards the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. With your breath, a few more cycles here. Last one. Mm -hmm. 
beautiful come to neutral walk your hands forward and lower slowly all the way on to your stomach bring your left arm out with your wrist straight out from the shoulder just like the letter t roll over onto your left side left leg long right foot comes behind the left knee like a kickstand knee pointing up towards the sky your right hand can be in front of you on the mat or reach towards the back of the room getting into our shoulder and our chest you can have a block or bolster under your head just keep that deep breathing See where you can soften, soften the face, the eyebrows. A few more cycles of breath. And slowly come to center. Bring both hands under shoulders, elbows in towards the body. Rest the forehead on the mat. Take a breath. And then we'll switch it to the other side. So bring your right arm out like the letter T and start to roll over onto your right side. Left leg comes up, knee pointed towards the sky like a kickstand. Left arm in front of the body for support or reach it back in space to intensify. Keep an easy face here. and go through your three steps of finding a comfortable position. One that's gonna work for you. And focusing on your breath. Single point of focus. Then letting that focus slowly drop away.
a few more cycles of breath left. And slowly come to center. Bring both hands under the shoulder, elbows and towards the body, forehead to the mat. It's not uncommon to feel tingling in one of the arms in that posture or in any of the extremities during again. Normally, when you release a pose, the blood will flow back into the extremity and you'll start to feel that warm sensation. That's very normal. Take an inhale, bring your forearms to the mat, 90 degree angle, palms flat, point your finger forward, neutral neck, eyes at the fingertips, cobra pose. We won't hold this for yin, just a few breaths. So energetically pull your arms back towards your body and allow your heart to shine through. Keep an easy face, eyebrows down the forehead. Beautiful. Keep the hands where they're at and bend into the knees, finding a melting heart position. 90 degrees with the knees. Elbows come off the mat, perhaps. And we'll find a little movement before sinking into our melting heart yin pose. We'll take some little cat cows. So inhale, look up in this puppy pose, heart melter. Hip bones rise. Exhale, chin to chest, round. Beautiful stretch through the shoulders. Inhale, look up. Keep the eyebrows down. You'll have more limited mobility here. This won't be like a traditional cat cow, but still, we're finding movement through the spine and round. Take a few with your breath now. And on your next in breath, settle in to your melting heart. Forehead can come towards the mat, or you can shift your gaze up towards your fingertips, chin coming towards the mat. If this posture is quite intense for you, start to breathe deeper and fuller. If you're having trouble breathing, then back off and bring your hands a little closer to your body or come up a little bit. Start to walk your hands back towards your body and walk your knees towards the middle of the mat. Sit your booty down with your heels on the outside of your legs. 
We'll take a saddle pose. So you can come lean back onto your hands, getting into the quads, or you can come down to forearms or lay all the way down. Your bolster might be nice here behind your back. And if this is a lot on your knees, you can do this with one leg stretched out and do a single saddle. And I will tell you when to switch. If you are in a single saddle with one leg stretched out, then go ahead and switch. very slowly as if I press the slow motion button slowly slowly start to come up if you were on your back take a breath on your forearms then start to come all the way up take a moment maybe you find an easy seat and take two full breaths Then come through your tabletop position. Bring your left knee to your left wrist, setting up for pigeon. Your left foot doesn't need to be parallel with the top of the mat. If you're feeling any sensation in the knee, then bring it a little closer to your body. And go ahead and glance over your right shoulder. Make sure you're right leg is straight back behind you if your hips are quite high use a block place it under your left glute for support and i'll give you a few variations here if you have a pigeon that is just speaking to you then go for it otherwise you have the option for a traditional humble pigeon folding forward you can weave your right hand under your left hand and come into a twist. That should feel really beautiful on the back right shoulder. Or if you're working more into the front of the right hip here, then come upright into a proud pigeon driving the right hip down, but releasing any clenching in the hips and dropping the shoulders down the back. 
So find which pigeon is working for you. Settle in and start to focus on the breath. Release any tension between the eyebrows. Relax the muscles around the eyes. Relax the space between your upper and lower eyelid. Soften. Unclench the jaw so there's a tooth gap. and drop the jaw a little more. If you are in twisted or humble pigeon, slowly start to walk yourself up. Remove any props that you have and lean far over to the left side. Bring your right leg up and around with control and start to find cow face legs. Stacking the knees as best as possible, but what's more important than that is getting both sit bones firmly on the floor. First, inhaling to that long spine, letting your hips adjust to this next yin posture. And with your next exhale, leaning forward to any degree. Or to add on here, we can add the arms, so the left arm weaves back and the right arm reaches up. You can use a strap to connect or find your hands. Leaning forward. As you get comfortable in this pose, maybe walk your feet forward, finding a deeper expression, breathing deeply the entire time. Relaxing your hips, relaxing the shoulders, release any clenching, let it go.
slowly start to come up. If you have your arms bound, then unbind them. Lean over to the left side and we'll come out of this the same way we came in. Roll your left leg back behind you and step into your tabletop. We'll take a little yang movements here in this tabletop. Look to your right, send your hips to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, look to the left, send your hips to the right. And start to exaggerate it as you inhale through center and exhale to the other side. Moving with your breath. Beautiful, one more time each side. Awesome, then find your tabletop. Bring your right knee to your right wrist, setting up for pigeon on the right. Find where your front leg position is most comfortable for you. Maybe that's parallel to the top of the mat. Maybe that's with your foot towards your body. Glance over your left shoulder. Make sure the left leg is coming straight out from your hip. Same options here to find humble pigeon folding forward. Finding a twist, left arm weaves under right arm or staying upright, softly, working into the front of the right hip. Wherever you are, start to focus your attention inward on the breath, finding stillness and breathing. Release any clenching in the hips. Relax in. Breathe, you are doing wonderful. If you are twisted or in humble pigeon, slowly walk your hands towards your body. Lean over to the right and bring your left leg up and around, stacking knees as best as possible. More important than stacking the knees is to get both sit bones on the floor. 
you can stay here and fold forward maybe bringing your bolster in or your pillow in or you can reach your left arm up and your right arm back clasping hands or maybe bringing in a strap and folding forward just an option to add the arms If it's intense, breathe deeper. Slowly, slowly, start to come up, release the arms, maybe give the shoulders a little rounding, rolling them out. Remove any of your props off to the side and we'll come out the same way we came in. So leaning over to the right with control, bringing the left leg back and coming into an easy seat. We'll find our straddle pose. So, both legs out long. And start to walk out your straddle. So just lifting one hip, then the other. Maybe start to exaggerate your walkouts by leaning your body over to one side, then the other. Maybe adding a reach of the arms, so reaching your right arm toward the left side of the room and changing it out. One more time, each side. And finding your center. Maybe bringing in your bolster here or your block. Getting all your little wiggles out and shifting all of your attention to your breath. With each exhale releasing just a fraction deeper into our pose softening through the hips, shoulders, the face.
slowly start to walk your hands back towards your body manually bend your legs with each hand being really slow and gentle then coming sitting back to the middle of your mat if you were not bring your props towards the back of your mat and we'll lie all the way down feet on the bottom of the mat or feet on the floor drop both knees to the left Bring them through center and drop them to the right. And to the left. To the right. To the left. And to the right. Then come onto your forearms. And we'll place our bolster or two blocks underneath the top half of our body so they will start support right where your shoulder blades start about mid back with your booty on the mat and your upper body on your props find long legs or maybe you bring feet to the edge of the mat knees in or supta baddha konasana so bottom of the feet together legs in a diamond shape arms fall intuitively so maybe on your stomach and heart maybe out wide for a chest opener close the eyes down here for our final yin posture very restorative pose there's no effort needed here So soften the space between the eyebrows. Relax the muscles around the eyes. Relax the cheeks. And let the jaw hang. Drop the jaw. See if with each exhale you can soften your body, your chest, arms, abdomen, legs, soften.
to deepen your breath. Start to slowly tap fingertips to fingertips, wiggle your toes. Very slowly bring the head up, come on to the forearms. Remove any props that you were using. Plant the feet on the floor if they aren't already and keep the eyes closed down. A signal to your nervous system that everything is okay, you're safe, it's all good. And find an easy seat. We'll take a moment in stillness. Tall spine, long neck, a gentle tuck of the chin. Filling our heart with a sense of gratitude. Gratitude for our health. That our heart keeps beating even though we don't have to try. Gratitude for honoring ourselves by taking the time, making the space to practice just giving yourself some time to breathe intentionally. And we'll take a final breath together as a class. First, a cleansing breath, inhale. All the way to the top, hold. Long exhale, all the way out. Together now, inhale fully. Gentle hold. And exhale, shoulders down the back easy face. Namaste, sweet friends. I hope you feel good and calm and open after this class. If you liked this yin class, then you might like some of my other yin classes as well that I've linked below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever it is that's coming up for you in the future. Bye friends. <laughs>